Hi everyone, Damien Fate here, and welcome back to my genocide run of Undertale. Uh, I've made it to Asgore's house. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be anything different here. Let's have a look inside. Uh, I remember last time he made like a snail pie or something. I wonder if that's the same. I'm going to go see what kind of pie he made. Oh! Flowey's here. Howdy, Chara. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? Hee hee hee. Boy, today's gonna be just as fun. Oh no. Yeah, last time I was getting a story from all the other monsters and stuff, but oh my gosh. Is it gonna be Flowey? You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Okay. I guess there's no pie. It's gonna be Flowey again. I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I was so scared. I couldn't feel my arms or legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me, I called out. But nobody came. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, Flowey does have a bit of a tragic story behind him, but he's still super duper evil. Ooh, goodies. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Oh, you know what? My inventory is full, isn't it? Let's see, what could I... What the heck? Legendary hero, what is this? He'll... Oh! A sandwich shaped like a sword. I remember those were like the, uh, the MTT brand... Burgers or something. Alright, let's go put... <laughs> the face take. Uh, let's go put stuff away, just so I can organize my inventory a little bit. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. You got the locket. And this should be the sword, right? Knife inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. You got the real knife. Let's check out the stats on these things. 99 defense! Oh my gosh. I don't remember it having that much defense before. Oh yeah. Oh, we gotta put these on. Absolutely. Right where it belongs, it says. That's funny. All right. Man, those are really powerful items. And I have a horrible feeling that I'm gonna need them for the end of the game. Room under renovations. Oh, another key. All right, I did it too. Eventually, the king found me crying in the garden. I explained what had happened to him. Then he held me, Kara. He told me with tears in his eyes, saying, There, there, everything's gonna be all right. He was so emotional, but for some reason, I didn't feel anything at all. Wow. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. So it's kind of interesting to do this genocide run and then see Flowey's side a little bit more. Nothing useful. Why is it red? Still that sweater. It's a trophy! Number one nose no nuzzle champs. <laughs> the entries are always the same. Wow. It's not even going to bother reading out those entries to me. Weird. Alright, we're ready to go down into the basement. I unlocked the chain. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> it makes me jump every time. I soon realized I didn't feel anything about anyone. My compassion had disappeared. And believe me, it's not like I wasn't trying. I wasted weeks with that stupid king, mainly hoping I would feel something. But it became too much for me. I ran away from home. Eventually, I reached the ruins. Inside, I find her. Kara. I thought of all the people she could make me feel whole again. She failed. Ha! So... Is he talking about Kara, like the original Kara? I realized those two were useless. I became despondent. I just wanted to love someone. I just wanted to care about someone. Kara, you might not believe this, but I decided it wasn't worth living anymore. Not in a world without love. Not in a world without you. So, I decided to follow in your footsteps. I would erase myself from existence. And you know what? I succeeded. Hmm. But as I left this mortal coil, I started to feel apprehensive. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you... 
something primal started to burn inside me. No, I thought. I don't want to die. Then I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. Whoa. Don't start talking about save points. That's really messed up. <laughs> Interested, I decided to experiment. Again and again, I brought myself to the edge of death. At any point, I could have let this world continue on without me. But as long as I was determined to live, I could go back. Amazing, isn't it, Kara? I was amazed too. He was determined. He had determination. Just like me. <laughs> At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. I solved all their problems flawlessly. Their companionship was amusing. For a while. As time repeated, people proved themselves predictable. What would this person say if I gave them this? What would they do if I said this to them? Once you know the answer, that's it. That's all they are. Wow, this is oddly appropriate considering our own personal roots through this game because I played through pacifist. I was nice to everybody. I was solving their problems. And now it's... He's just going to say exactly what we're doing. Decided to go and just kill everybody. Started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I don't like doing this because I have to know what happens. <sighs> what an excuse. You of all people must know how liberating it is to act this way. At least we're better than those sickos who stand around and watch it happen. Those pathetic people don't that want to see it, but are too weak to do it themselves? I bet someone like that's watching right now, aren't they? What? <laughs> that's you guys at home right now. Flowey's talking about you guys. Not that I, I don't agree with him, you're not pathetic. Uh, but wow. <laughs> that's crazy. Nowadays, even that's grown tiring. You understand, Kara. I've done everything this world has to offer. I've read every book. I've burned every book. I've won every game. I've lost every game. I've appeased everyone and I've killed everyone. Sets of numbers, lines of dialogue, I've seen them all. But you, you're different. I never could predict you, Kara. Wow, this is so crazy. When I saw you in the ruins, I didn't recognize you. I thought I could frighten you, then steal your soul. I failed. And when I tried to load my save file, it didn't work. Kara, your determination. Somehow it's even greater than mine. Whoa. I just have one question for you, Kara. How did you get back to the ruins from here? Wait, I know. She must have taken you when she left. I decided to give you a proper burial, rather than hanging out in the basement forever. But why then? What made you wake up? Did you hear me calling you? Hmm, so I guess I was in one of those coffins or something originally. It doesn't matter now. I'm so tired of this, Kara. I'm tired of all these people. I'm tired of all these places. I'm tired of being a flower. Kara, there's just one thing I left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Let's let them see what humanity is really- That despite it all, this world is still kill or be killed. Oh my gosh. Then, well, I had been entertaining a, a few ways to use that power. <laughs> but seeing you here changed my mind. Kara, I think if you're around, just living in the surface world doesn't seem so bad. Don't have a change of heart because I'm here, Flowey, because I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill everybody. That's how it is. It's just what's happening right now. <laughs> I don't even need to leave the get them this time. The king has six of them locked away. I've tried hundreds of ways to get him to show them. But he just won't. Kara, I know he'll do it for you. No, the king absolved him himself. If uh, what Alphys said was true, or what Benetton said about Alphys was true. Why am I telling you all this? Kara, I said it before. 
Even after all this time, you're still the only one that understands me. You won't give me any worthless pity. I won't. No pity for Flower this time. We've been down that road. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we each, if we got in each other's way. So that's, so that's why. Whoa, what's going on, Flowey? Why are you dancing? <laughs> what's this feeling? Why am I shaking? Hey, Kara, no hard feelings about back then, right? Hey, what are you doing? Back off! Oh. We are gonna murder Flowey, like, right now. It is happening. Huh? I've changed my mind about all this. This isn't a good idea anymore. You should go back, Kara. This place is fine the way it is. Stop making that creepy face! <laughs> I'm not making a creepy face. <laughs> this isn't funny. You got a sick sense of humor. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, the judgment hall. All right. I've been looking forward to this moment because I remember facing off against, well, not facing off against Sans, but talking to Sans before, and he, he explained the whole love thing. And, uh, yeah, he was very happy that I didn't kill anybody, but this time, he's probably going to be pretty mad, especially since I killed his brother, too. Is he going to be here? He's not going to be here. There's no Sans. All right. Oh. Oh, there he is. Hi, old friend. <laughs> Hiya. You've been busy, huh? So, I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everybody can be a good person if they just try? Oh, I'm stepping towards him. Oh, Sans, I don't want to have to kill you. <laughs> All right. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? Because if you don't, if you take another step forward, you are really not going to like what happens next. Oh my gosh. Well, sorry, old lady. This is why I never make promises. Oh my gosh, it's time for a bad time. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you, should be burning in hell.